What's up, y'all? Um, we're back with another video, back with another banger. And the first app you need to go into, this is how to make a banner for girls. But the first app you need to go into is Pixar. Then, after, just make sure it loads up. And then you go all the way down to color backgrounds. And you press the first checkered background that you see. Then you go to crop. And then you press, like, the low, the ratio at the top. And put in 2560 by 1440. And it doesn't come out as, like, 2560. And... Then you just go to Google. Actually, I didn't do the step in this one, but go to Google and look up YouTube banner size template. A whole bunch should come up, but in this one, I just added a template that I already had. You zoom out and make sure the template is to the right size. Then you go to your photos. I did not want to see my recent, so I went to my little um, WhatsApp area where my photos are, my, most of my photos. And then I press on six photos. So I let them load in first, and then you just size them in. Make sure they're not. Make sure you do six photo, like six photos at a time, because then it would be much easier than having to go back in and then just getting another photo. Or you could do one photo and duplicate it multiple times. But yeah. So after that, um, I was just sizing in the clips. Go to tools and crop out all of the gray part of the banner template and make sure you can still see your photos at the end. And then after I'm just cropping it in, you know, and then press apply. Then go to FX, effect at the bottom. And it says that and go to colors and it should say colorize. And you can change the hue. I choose, pink. I chose pink for this one like a light pink and then you just press apply you could choose any color you want then you can go to your photos and go to like wherever your photos are i just went like there i picked two photos okay i'm just picking one out one at a time because i have to cut them out and then you go into um the scissors and they press person sometimes i won't cut you out right um but i just left it like this because i'm doing upper body so where they can see my face then i go into I recent because I use this effect, but if you, if you go to find HDR, you use that one, and then you go back and you try to find saturation. Now that's the one you need to use. Then zoom it in. Now put your put your body right in the middle of the screen. Then you press add photo again, and then you go in with the second photo. Now after that, you just cut out your photo again. Do the same steps. So just looking for a photo i picked one okay that's good and then you go in and do the same thing you press the scissors you press person you you don't really need to fix it because it, it doesn't really matter because you're just sizing it in to the point where they could just see the face but if you want to fix your hair if they didn't get all the hair on it well it doesn't matter um and then go to your recents and press hdr and saturation i'll do saturation first and then I just mess with the blur a little bit because my face will look a little bit shiny. Now after that, just size it in and keep trying to see how it fits. And then you press apply. Then you go to stickers. Now what you look up now is newspaper. Now this is an important step because this is the most part where you can get like the little effects on the side. Then you scroll down until you see one that you want to use. I use this other one. Like I couldn't find the one I use all the time. So I just went with another one. And then you duplicate it twice on each side, but not like two on like that. And then you put it on each side and then you press apply. Now it wouldn't fit exactly how it would be. Then after that, you just save it to your camera roll. Then you go into Fonto. Now the, uh, I mean, the um, font that I used for this one was just regular. Um, that was just from an old thumbnail I did. And then I put in the my youtube name so putting your youtube name um this is my second um youtube channel um i'll put the channel link in the description make sure you go subscribe then you go to your fonts the free ones now because i pressed anton and then i duplicate i put that one into like a white and like a pink sure 
and then keep going from lightest to darkest with the pinks or whatever color you're doing as long as it matches the thumbnail i mean the banner picture <laughs> sorry and then we're going with the shadow and we press the last one that says aa now we go with the black shadow and then we scroll all the way down until we see i think it's called bad script regular and then you go on top of that and you size it in to make sure it's just smaller than the rest of the words so they can see the rest of the words while also seeing the other words and then you save that as a png then you go to add photos and then you see the png pop up now that's what it is okay and then you size it in to where they could see your face but also the words and then you go back in stickers and you press look up subscribe nothing else but subscribe and then you go with anyone but i would go with one that you can turn into a different color so yeah i just keep searching through them and look for one that you can change the color to then you go to adjust and then you press hue and you just change the color to the, like like the closest color you can get to your banner picture now when you're done doing that you size it up Make sure it's like n not crowding the words so it would not be right hanging on the words and then after that you just look up tv or like whatever effects you want to do i did tv for this one because i'm gonna be having a reaction channel and like you know i'm watching a whole bunch of videos so i use tv i looked up a whole bunch of tvs i look up retro tvs a lot of stuff like it was more simple i had no tvs in my recent because i did use that one but I couldn't find any, so I looked up retro TVs. But y'all can look up whatever y'all want. Y'all can skip this part and move on to the next part. But this is a crucial part of the the banner part because you put in something that will like tell people what your channel is about. So see, I picked a TV and we just size it up next to the words. You can put a lot more than this, right? And you can just save it here and what skip to the end of the video and see how to upload it to your YouTube but after this i just added some more effects film effects it's called film three and i actually it was film i don't really know i was just deciding okay it's film three and then you go just press apply then you save after that you go into canva and you upload your youtube banner template but first you gotta wait until the app loads okay so Mine's was taking a long time to load. Okay, so right now, then you go to search bar and look up YouTube channel art. That's a lot of my channel art that I did before. And then you press that one. And then you press the blank one because then that's where you upload your template and you size in the banner so it can fit the right size. That's a lot of people, right? Oh, this is a lot of steps, but I'm getting in depth with it. Um, so after that, you go into your camera roll and upload the banner that you made in Pixar. And you just size it up to the point where it can fit to the point YouTube can say it fits. It's not too small or too big. And then you save as image, you know, save it as anything else. And then it just says prepare your design. And then this is the next part where you're going to be. Up. So at this point, you already made the banner. Now you just go to YouTube studio on, um, iPhone or Android, and then you just go to Google and search it up, and then you press the first one. Okay, that's going to say YouTube Studio. I spelled YT Studio, so it'd be simpler. And don't press get to the app. I mean, get the app. Go press continue to studio. Now, this is the point where I kept messing up because I was trying to get to the point where I was trying to see, my, you know, but y'all could see how many views with that, how to make a thumbnail video is going to get. I'm not expecting this video to get a lot of views, but at this point, you just go to the customization and then you press branding and when you press branding you go to um the thumbnail i mean the banner picture and then you go to change and you keep pressing until it's until it says take photo browse and photo library then you go press photo library and upload not that the banner that is not on the template because it says it's too small see and then you go you press the actual you keep pressing upload until photo album again i messed up at the part and then you press the one with the template on it now you don't have to size anything or you can just leave it or you can make the banner over after that you press done and publish to channel so that's the end of the wrap of the video make sure you'll tune into more content